All right, here we go. All right, here we go, here we go. Got two words for you today, two words. Here they are, finish strong, finish strong. I want you to understand something that is foundational. No matter the season that you are in, whether it's an off season, a playoff season, a regular season, season in life, summer, fall, winter, spring, no matter the season you are in, it will come to an end. It will finish. Every season you are in, will finish. There's no question about that. The question is how will you finish? You see, that is completely up to you. Not every finish is created equally. Think about this, you're running sprints, whether it's on the turf or on the track, out in the field, up on a hill, and coach there at the end of the line shouts out these words that you've heard over and over and over again. In some ways, it kind of strikes fear in your heart. He shouts, she shouts over and over again, finish through the line. He doesn't call you to finish before the line. Doesn't say finish at the line. Coach says finish through the line. And that's because coach understands not every finish is the same. And so they're challenging you. They're calling you out. They're encouraging you to finish through the line, finish strong. But you think about the people as they're running the sprints, no matter how loud coach yells, no matter how many times she's told you, no matter how many consequent sprints you've had to do and repeat, there's still somebody that fails to finish through the line. You may know who that It might be you, where you've come up short, where you quit before you got through the line. You didn't finish through the line. You finished before the line. You quit. You skipped the rep. And I want you to understand this. When you skip a rep, you cheat two people, you and your teammate. And the more teammates you have, the more people you skip when you quit on a rep. You see that? Finish that finishes before the line is a finish that cheats your teammates. It cheats your teammates out of their goals. It cheats their teammates out of what is due them because as they put in the work, they deserve you to do the same. They put in the work for you, they deserve for you to put in the work for them. But when you quit before the line, when you give up and you throw in the towel in your effort and you just don't finish all the way through, you're cheating your teammates. You gotta ask the question, do you wanna be on a team that has teammates who cheat one another? Do you wanna be the kind of teammate that cheats their teammates? You see, when you quit before the line, that's exactly what you do. Not all finishes are created equal. But then there's the person who will finish at the line or they coast through the line that they simply do just enough. They check the boxes. When they have the energy, they'll give more, and when they don't, they won't. They're in the middle, one foot in, one foot out, motivated not by a sense of integrity, not by a sense of desire or willingness to sacrifice for team. They're motivated by a sense of, well, I don't really wanna quit. I don't really wanna give my best, so I'll do just enough. They think that good enough is enough. But what you've gotta understand is that good enough is not enough when your better is possible. When you know you can give more, but you've simply chosen not to because you're not willing to sacrifice for team. You're not willing to sacrifice to grow. Good enough is not enough. When you know you could give greater effort, when you know you could fight harder, but you choose not to because you think only the best can give the best effort that you think that if you're not first string, there's no reason to give first string effort. You think that if you're not five-star talent, there's no reason to give five-star effort. And so you are simply satisfied with having the jersey, being on the team, getting the accolades and the reward of other people's work. You're motivated by the points on the board. When you can win the game, you fight a little bit harder. When there's too big of a deficit, you throw in the towel and you coast. Friends, I wanna challenge you. You deserve more than to coast through life. 
that there is so much richness, so much goodness to be experienced in life that have nothing to do with the scoreboard, have nothing to do with being first string, and have everything to do with the joy that comes from growing, from giving your best, from sacrificing for a worthy cause, for giving everything you have, getting in it, failing, getting back up, and finding a way to succeed from finishing through the line, from finishing strong, and you're on the bubble and it's worth it, you just don't believe it. And I wanna challenge you today, finish strong. Don't coast, finish strong. Then there's those who understand. There are those who get it, who when coach says finish strong, they're not talking to them because there's something inside of them that says, I can't help but finish five yards past the line. I can't help but get an extra rep. I can't help but show up early. I can't help but show up late. I can't help but finish strong. It's who I am. People that quit before the line, the people that coast, look at those people and they go, yeah, if I was talented like them, if I was special like them, then yeah, I'd do that too. And they buy the lie that those that finish strong are somehow different. They're somehow special, but you got to understand there's nothing unique about the person who finishes strong because it takes no talent to give great effort. It takes no talent to show up early. It takes no talent to work harder today than you did yesterday. It takes no talent to care more about your teammates than you do yourself. It takes no talent to want to grow, to want to get better. It takes no talent to finish strong. It simply takes a desire to want to pay the price. It takes a willingness to sacrifice because you understand the success is expensive and its currency is sacrifice. And they're willing to pay the price. You see the difference between a person who quits a workout and who finishes strong. The difference between the person who quits in life and finishes strong in life is a willingness to pay the price. I gotta ask you a question, friends. Are you willing to pay the price to finish strong? You don't have to be taller, bigger, stronger, faster than anyone else. You don't have to be better than anyone else to finish strong. You just have to be willing to pay the price. And if you can learn to pay the price in the game of sports, when it only matters a little, you'll learn to pay the price in the game of life when it matters a lot more. Because there are gonna be many seasons, friends. There are gonna be many seasons in the game of life where you're gonna to wanna to throw in the towel and quit where you're gonna to wanna to coast, where you're gonna think that you're somehow disqualified from giving your best. It just doesn't really matter all that much. And you're gonna to have to remember back to how you acted, to what you learned in the game of sports. So you have some skill set, you have some context to know how to act in the game of life. Friends, I'm gonna tell you, if you quit in sports, you'll quit in life. If you coast in sports, you'll coast in life, but if you finish strong in the game of sports, you'll finish strong in the game of life. Because at the end of the day, finishing strong is about one thing, your choice. Friends, I wanna challenge you today. If you wanna find success in sports in the game of life, you gotta understand it's not complicated. It's as simple as two words. You gotta finish strong. Let's have a good one today.